choose one of the symbols below to complete each of the following statements. So we've got this symbol here, which means less than, this symbol here, which means obviously means equal to, this one symbol here, which means greater than. So we've got to decide what symbol to put in. We would three fifths of 66.6%, .6%, the cube root of 64 and 4, and 1 eleventh and 0 0.09. Let's take part A. If you convert both numbers to decimals, which is quite easy to do on your calculator, so do 3 divided by 5 on your calculator and you get 0 0.6, and 66 divided by 100, because this is a percentage, is 0 .0, 0 0.666. If we now write that down, those decimals, we've got 0 0.6 and 0 0.66, this number here is less than this number here, so we're going to put this symbol in here. Okay, but we need to write out the final answer in terms of the original statement. So 3 fifths is less than 66.6%. .6%. We write both numbers in their original format. Cube root of 64 is what number multiplied by itself twice will make 64? The answer is actually 4, because 4 times 4 times 4 makes 64. Therefore, the cube root of 64 is actually equal to 4. So the equal sign will go in that one. For part C, 1 eleventh of 0 0.09, if we convert 1 eleventh into a decimal using our calculator, we get 1 over 11, which is equal to 0 0.09090909. It carries on forevermore, recurring decimal. So we're now going to compare 0 0.0909 and 0 0.9 but we're going to add in these two extra zeros you can, you can see here we've got 909 and here we've got 900 so therefore it, this number is bigger than this number so this is a symbol that goes in and we end up with writing in its original format 111 is more than 0 0.09